Hello, eventeers. This is Rob with Ship Our Wedding. We're going to go over some draping that will transform the sides of the walls. So right here is the head table. And we want to make sure that we frame this to cover these poles so it looks really nice in their photos. We have some breakup patterns that will aim on the ceiling and make it look like you have actual branches up here. We'll have up lighting that will go on these posts as well. And then on top of that, there will also be drapes that will come from the sides, come up to the top and come back down. Those are going to be our silk ceiling streamers going all the way around. If you want more information about this rental, click that like link down below this video where to have more information on every single rental that this video is going to cover. First, let's get started and set up the draping that's going to cover this. This is the drape corners. So let's get to it to make this happen. First step, you want to lay out the base plates. You'll notice that the ferrule is set up in the back. We want this as close to the pole as possible. Then we're going to take the uprights and we're going to start putting these into every single base plate. The main thing is you want to keep the symmetrical. So you notice that we have one, two, three, four, and five going all the way down. Next step to create the drape corners, we're going to take these little arms, we're going to work them in to the left and to the right, just slide in just like this. You see that little hook on it? It's going to fit in that flange. It's going to go on the other side as well. Make sure they're directly across from each other. And now we're going to do this all the way down for the rest of the uprights. So you see this ground is not level here, that's totally fine. We have that ferrule going on the back of this base plate. So we could take this upright and actually zip tie it right here. So this is centered and this is also secure. So if there's any wind back here, there's a big tree line, we don't have to worry about wind. And this will also keep this very stable too. We're going to make sure these extendable arms are pulled out to the same length as well. Then we're going to get them dialed in by zip tying them into place. Take a look at the top. We center that just like this. Okay. Now we have it where it needs to be. We're going to take and wrap a zip tie around this and the pole. We're going to make sure it's tight and this will keep the upright and also the draping in place. If your zip ties are not long enough, you can take them, connect them. This way you can make it longer. Tube in a row. Now we're going to take this and wrap it around the pole. And it's okay to go a little tight on this too because you want to make sure this does not move and this stays centered. Just take a pair of snips. If you have any excess, just go ahead and cut that off, just like that. So we're going to take this. We have one pull now that is centered. We're going to do this for all the draped corners behind the head table. And this is what it should look like when you have all of your draping equipment zip tied to the 10 poles. This will keep it secure. Next step, we're going to take the fabric and we're going to throw this over the extendable arms. So we have one of the draped corners done here behind the head table. We're going to show you how to throw this fabric over, pull it back. You're going to do this with the zip ties. So on each arm, you're going to put one piece of fabric. Once you have the fabric on it, you want to go ahead and pull this out. This is going to maximize the amount of pleats you have. Give that nice, full look that you need in your photos. This looks really nice in the backdrop. Take the fabric and you overlap any of the hardware this way it's not shown so all you see is a drapery once the setup is complete next we're going to take a zip tie work it around one of the edges this is very important you want the fabric to come apart with the wind take this we're going to overlap it a nice little twist we'll cut this at the end so now we're going to do the same for the other side take the fabric we're going to throw it over this crossbar and use a zip tie on the end so keep the fabric in place so we have the fabric coming straight down we need to take this middle piece combine it. Once again, if your zip tie is not long enough, take two of them, put them together. So we can wrap around the pole and the hardware. Start bringing our zip tie in, make it a little more tight. Adjust that fabric a little bit too. Go this way the fabric looks like it's not twisted in there at all when it's coming straight down. We're going to tuff this roll underneath itself. Because we're outside, we want to keep all this drapery on the base plate. We don't want it to touch the ground. It's very important the fabric you send back to us. It's not soiled. It must be clean. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below too. Excess zip ties, you want to take this and just cut them off like you see here. So complete the look. So you want to do this for the bottom. You also want to do this for the top on both sides. We have two done, we have to do this for five of them. So we're gonna continue what we just did in the previous steps all the way down for the drapery. And then we get to show you the finished look, how the drape pull covers look behind the head table. Doesn't that look amazing? If you like the way that looks, give us a thumbs up if you're watching this on our channel. This literally took us 15 minutes to set these up, roughly three minutes each. So super fast DIY way to go ahead and create a beautiful look with photos. Okay, so this is a finished look that you see with the breakup patterns in the tents. We worked in a total of six fixtures. You'll also notice this beautiful warm glow with the champagne up lighting. The outdoor lights are amazing in tents. It gives that nice glow, especially when your sun sets. You need to be able to see what's happening. I love this color because it's working really well with the fall theme. You see the oranges, those burnt reds too. This pattern that you see is a textured pattern. It's what we call our thornery A. It's like a foliage. It looks like you're actually in a tree canopy. This goes with the fall theme. So if you need help planning your celebration, once again, feel free to click the link below in this video description. Learn how to do it yourself with less vendors. It's beautiful. It's simple. It's affordable. DIY rentals. They ship to you two days before your event. They set up super fast. All you gotta do is just watch the tutorial videos and you send it back five days after your event. This way you are not stressed. Check us out. Once again, we're Ship Our Wedding. We'd love to help you at your DIY celebration. Take care.
Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.